Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and check out my bridal review. Mwah! girl Anita Rivers of Classic Royalty and as you guys can see from the title today I will be showing you guys a bridal gown that I have been working on again this will be a bridal review so I will be going over all the details the trims and all the fabrics that I've used for this particular dress first thing I want to say is that I love doing bridal gowns and I love my clients and they give me the opportunity to do whatever it is that I want and to be free with creativity and just styles and color and etc but as you guys know i do have a style and i do have an aesthetic when it comes to making uh, bridal gowns and prom gowns i love bling i love appliques and i love my clients and my brides and my prom gowns and just whoever it is that buys my stuff to be gaudy because i am gaudy and i want my girls to be gaudy on their special day so first I'm going to go ahead and go on with the details. I want to show you guys the top half of this dress. And again, I'll be going over the entire dress because this is a bridal review. So first, let's start with the bodice applique. I know some of you guys have seen my bodice applique video on how to sew this bodice applique. But again, this is a bodice applique that I have gotten from Planet Rhinestones. And if you guys look closely up here, these are iridescent and silver stones placed one by one. Yes, one by one. And this base fabric here, this nude fabric, let me go a little bit closer. This is a nude mesh, as you guys can see. And if I turn this a little bit, you guys will see that I've tried something new. This is my first time. Let me lower. Let's do. Yes. As you guys can see, this is the first time I've used. Um, just beaded fringe. This is pretty cool. This was very expensive. This can range from 100 to 120 a yard. This is super cute. Oh, and no, if you guys do see that it's kind of bungee here, my client is bigger than the mannequin. My mannequin is a size six. My client is about an eight to 12, an eight ten, sorry. So the dress is a little bit bigger than mannequin, but it's okay. I still want to show you guys what the dress looks like. So again, this is the beaded fringe. This is gonna be off her shoulder, like on this part gonna be off her shoulder and when she moves it's gonna go like this super cute and again as you guys can see I do have some iridescent appliques and again on this side so it moves on the side if you guys can see there's some sheer here move this there's sheer on the sides there's stones here again place one by one and again on the back this is what it looks like I just freestyled, even though her hair is going to be long, when she moves and she dances, I don't want it to be plain. So, of course, added some stones down the back where the zipper is, and then I added some more appliques on the side. And, of course, I have the beaded fringe that's caught. That's, this is so pretty. I love this. I'm going to be using this again. And I got this from High Trimming, but I'm pretty sure I can get it from other places. But yeah, just look at that zipper, guys. Look at that. Super cute. Super cute. Now that I showed you guys what the front of this gown looks like, this is a beaded bodice applique. This is your typical four-way stretch nude mesh. These are uh, Swarovski crystals that I got from High Trimming. These are also the color in iridescent and in crystal, AB. These are iridescent appliques that we have from high trimming. And these, so I don't know what you call these. If you guys know what these are called, I don't know, beaded fringe. Because they're not beaded, they're actually just like trim. But if you guys know what these are called, leave it below in the comments so I can actually know the term for what that is. And now we're going to go ahead and go lower so I can show you guys what the bottom half looks like. Okay, so now we're at the bottom of the dress. And as you guys can see, this bodice applique is really, really long. So it comes down into a V. And as you guys can see, I didn't just sew on the bodice applique. I actually used the Swarovski iridescent crystals and I inserted them. You guys can see I inserted the appliques all in here. So yes, I inserted the appliques and the stones all throughout here and here and here and here. See all of these? I inserted the stones all in here so it can be cohesive with the top hat. And also this base fabric here is a white neoprene 
It's very form-fitted, very form-fitted. It fits the body perfectly and it doesn't show any uh, undergarments as much, but the best thing to do when you do wear neoprene or any fabric for a wedding is to wear seamless or no underwear at all. If you go a little bit lower, this is the bottom half of the dress. This is also neoprene and this is neoprene. So it's a two layer wedding gown. So this is the first layer which is up here, and this is the, the second layer. This is the first, this is the second, and this is the whole bottom piece right here is the train. So what I want you guys to remember is that when you guys are making pieces like this, this is just a circle skirt pattern. This is a circle skirt pattern. So it's a circle skirt and circle skirt sewn on top of each other, and this horse hair underneath. Yes, there's horse hair, I use black, but you guys can use white, or if she wanted a color for color for her wedding was pink, I also could have used pink horse hair, but um, you know, she didn't care what color I used, and this is what I had on hand. So I used black, and you can't see it really that much, and this is also a one inch horse hair, and I used white thread. So it doesn't make a difference on what horse hair you use, and then I'm gonna show you guys how long the train is. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is the back of the train from my bride. She didn't want it that long. I wish my bride wanted to be dramatic as I am, but sometimes that does not happen. But I love this dress. It's very cute, it's very simple. You have the double neoprene layer, you have the dramatic train. And I was also thinking about putting some stones around the hem. But she originally didn't want that, so I don't want to be overly dramatic. And she sees it and she's like, oh my god, I don't want it. So I would rather just leave it alone because I already added some stones at the back that she didn't want. But I'm pretty sure she's going to like, of course. And a tip, when you guys have a client come for a consultation or, matter of fact, not a consultation for a pickup, you guys got to show them how to fluff. So you pick up the dress and you, and you fluff just like that. I'm going to pick this up and I'm going to turn this around. And fluff just like that. Okay. So for my patterns, again guys, this was a basic bodice, this was a basic skirt and a circle skirt. And all you guys do is use your trims, just the bodice applique, your stones, you use your you need a fringe and then you use your neoprene for the basic skirt you use your circle skirt for the double layer and then if you guys haven't seen my zipper video go ahead and go watch that I'll show you guys how to make a perfect zipper bag it's super clean super flat and super easy and I will be doing multiple multiple videos my brow gowns I love showing you guys my brow gowns I'm hot for some reason but yes, I love showing you guys my bridal gowns. And making a bridal gown is very easy. I don't want you guys to be very scared or think, oh my God, I got a bride. I don't know what to do. You treat every gown as a gown. It's just that when you guys are working and starting to do bridal, just make sure you're very careful with not getting your hands dirty and make sure you guys put a little bit more effort and more stones and more bling on a bridal gown. It's very simple. I love this. It is very cute, very sexy. It's very expensive. I can't wait till she tries it on because she has curves. I like me. And we are definitely the same size. So I love it. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the camera off and I'm gonna go like around this just so you guys can see. Hey guys, so I wanted to show you guys the dress from this angle. I'm gonna go ahead and go a little bit closer so you guys can see the details on this bodice applique. And I'm gonna scroll down and just show you guys, show you guys the details. As you guys can see, those stones, I inserted myself. They're iridescent Swarovski crystals. And it just makes sense and it just blends in perfectly because there's iridescent in the bodice applique. There's iridescent on the sides. And then there's iridescent in the bodice. And then of course there's iridescent in the appliques. So I love this dress. I'm biased because 
I love all of my pieces. The bottom is very cute. I love it. It's very fun. It reminds me of a cupcake. And it just reads very regal. The beaded friends fringe. Let me turn it a little bit so you guys can see. This is super, super cool. Another thing that you guys need to know about me is that I'm a fan of all my work. Like, I'm very uh, aggy. I need to make sure. Like I said, I'm, I need to make sure all of my pieces are done correctly. I need to make sure that everything is hand sewn and finished. I go over everything the day of, the week of. Another tip of something that I do when all of my brides come for a fitting or for a pickup, I have this. And this says classic bride. So when they try this on, I do boomerangs. They hold this and they dance with my classic bride. You know when you guys see Kleinfeld, when you, when you see Say Yes to the Dress, they have Say Yes to the Dress, things like this. So I thought how cool would it be for me to have my very own Say Yes to the Dress classic bride like thing to do for Instagram or boomerangs. So yes, now that I've showed you guys the actual dress, I'm gonna show you guys how to, once she tries it on and you're about to go, I'm gonna show you guys what the next thing to do is take it off your mannequin or you take it off for her you put it on a hanger you put it in plastic and you put it in the gummy bag hey snap i'm just showing you guys what i'm working on so as you guys can see i am posting a bridal gown that's done by me and a new video will be on my channel later on tonight go ahead and check it out i posted the fabrics the details and it's going to be a wedding review so if you guys like this dress let me know I'm going to back and see them rolls. <laughs> <laughs> but it looks 